Since Queen Dido and Zul Lang came to the game, I haven't done a field performance tier list update, so today I'll be making a tier list all about how every single legendary commander currently is performing in the open field. This is not a list on investments, but this is a list of what matters right now. So if you are looking to invest in a commander for the short term, or even a commander that you just want to be very powerful right now, then this is definitely a video you should check out before you make any investments. It's going to be very easy and very simple to follow. So trust me, it's going to be worth your time. So I've made many investment videos and which commanders are best for investing, but I haven't really spoken that much about current performance for most commanders. I mean, I've said they're good investments or bad investments, but I've never really said how are they doing right now in the meta. And today, I will be doing that with my field performance tier list. This tier list does not encompass their future value. It only talks about what is happening right now. I will state if some commanders definitely will fall off soon, or if I think that they aren't going to be like a very good investment. For example, let's say there's a commander that's performing amazingly right now, but in two years, they're going to be useless. I will talk about that. So let's switch over to the tier list. So let's discuss the tiers, the best of the best. These commanders are performing amazingly right now, and there's really nothing even close. Pretty good, they are like very good for two marches, three marches. Usable, they're once again good for three to four marches. Bad it means they're not very good for anything. I wouldn't really use him past like six marches at this point. And then absolute trash are just never ever usable ever in any situations. One thing to note, this is a field performance tier list. So garrison commanders and rally commanders will be rated on their field performance, not their garrison performance. Starting off with Ethel Fledge, he is a, I want to say usable commander. There are a lot of commanders which have Ethelfled similar debuffs. For example, her debuff for health is outclassed by CPO. It's out, her, de her defense debuff is outclassed by Anevsky. Her attack debuff is outclassed by some other commanders, but for the most part, attack doesn't really matter. So Ethelfled's in the usable tier. She's good for six to seven marches. Nevsky is the best of the best. There's really nothing much more to say about that. Alexander the Great is in usable. Now that you can access season three commanders, he's really not worth it in my opinion, but he's still a fairly okay commander. Attila is going in the same tier, once again a usable commander. He is usable for 4 or 5 cav marches. He's okay as a rally, but other than that, I wouldn't really use him. I'm going to put Cow Cow in the absolute trash. I wouldn't use him in the field. I mean, his relic is alright, but it's not worth the relic coins, because Cow Cow overall is not very good. Shana Gupta is definitely going in the pretty good tier. I really like Shana Gupta. He's got amazing debuffs and a lot of utility. Charlemagne's definitely trash on the field right now, and that's never really going to change, no matter how much they buff him. Charles Martel, I'm actually going to put in the bad tier, just because his field performance right now is very tanky. Yes, he's very anti-swarm, but like you're never going to trade 1 to 5 with the Charles Martel. You're only ever going to get possibly a 1 to 2 trade if you're really lucky. And for the most part, if a Martel get hits by archers, it's gone. I'm going to put CJ in the usable tier, but like the right top of it. I think he's pretty good for like 4 or 5 infantry marches. Other than that, not amazing. Cleopatra, nothing more to say. Constantine is only really good in canyon and as a support march. He's definitely worse than Martel. Gilgamesh, I'm also going to put possibly at the end of the usable tier. His debuff is really good if you don't have a CPO. He's fairly tanky, and he's got a unique health-canceling debuff. Other than that, he doesn't have that much to offer. YSS, useless for the field. Xeno is useless for the field. Edward of Woodstock is certainly bad for the field. He's usable. His relic will probably keep him in this bad tier. But for the most part, most players definitely will not be using him. I think the same can be said. Oh, I think actually Elsid's definitely absolute trash. I really wouldn't use Elsid for the most part. His relic, yeah, it's usable, and some people do consider using him just because of the relic. But for most players, you're running an Elsid, you're better off just not running the Archer March until you get a better commander. The same story is true with Frederick. Really good KVK1, useless after that. I'm going to put Khan in like the top of the bad tier as well. His relic is actually fairly decent, but you need to have a max Khan, and most people do not max Khan and should not max Khan. I think Hannibal Barker is definitely an absolute trash. Harold is definitely, I reckon, just in the pretty good tier, barely. He actually still offers a lot of damage infantry players. He's fairly anti-swarm, and he's got a unique double skill throw, which him and Joan both offer. I think Bertrand is usable. He's a fairly good cav commander for the most part. Artemisia is definitely pretty good. I can't trash talk her on the field right now. She's doing very good. In the future, though, she may not be worth it, which is why I will mention that now, since there are new archer commanders like Zulang and Ditto. Suleiman is absolute trash on the field. Don't touch him. I'm going to put Cyrus probably in the usable tier. I mean, for most players, he's not the best investment, if we're being realistic, but if you're running more than two Archer Marchers, or even two Archer Marchers, he is pretty good. But he's more of a niche commander, where he's offering a lot of debuffs and not as much damage. Personally, why I have him. Guan on the field right now is pretty good, but I made a video on him like a couple days ago, 
where I'm saying he's not going to be as good as he is in about two years from now. But Carl is definitely in a pretty good tier. I reckon he goes with Harold very well. And he's got a lot of use as being a very anti-swarm march, like a very, very anti-swarm march. He's not even close to any other anti-swarm commanders. I'm going to put Leo in bad, like he can work with Guan still, but it's not very good. I'm going to put Honda definitely in the pretty usable tier. He is quite good on the field right now. He's trading very good for the most part. Nebu is also going in the pretty good tier. I'm really liking Nebu's performance currently. Joan is going into the best of the best. I actually think Joan is definitely one of the, if not the best cab commanders compared to Nevsky. Ishido is going the best of the... I'm just kidding. He's absolute trash. I wouldn't use Ishido in the field. Same for Jadwiga. Cedar is actually going to usable. His relic is really good with XY and fast rage commanders. Lubu, absolute trash. Mehmed is actually in the pretty good tier. He's a very, very cheap investment at 5511. You have a lot of his utility. And his relic is really damn good. Minamoto, definitely the third, if not second best cav commander, depending how much you value your drone. And he's super easy to access, which is really one thing that just gives him such a bump up. Usually I don't rate on that for this tier list, but it's just such a good commander that it's so easy to get. He does get that high rank. Ulan is usable. She's the best buff commander in the game. Other than that, though, I wouldn't really touch her. I'm going to put Ragnar in bad just because he does perform quite well as a rally in some ways. But also on the field, he is a substitute for Takeda. And Takeda is also a bad commander, so they have to have an equal rank. Ramses, I'm going to put the top of the bad tier. Very good with Zulang for some reason, but I would say Zulang has definitely got better pairs than your Ramses. And for the most part, Ramses is kind of lackluster compared to any other Archer commander. Richard is going into the bad tier as well, probably just above Ramses. His debuffs are really nice, but now that you've got Zulang's debuff, you kind of don't really need Richard as much. His March speed debuff, I guess it's okay, but you got Saladin, you got Boudicca, you got so many other commanders which do slow. And he's just kind of a tank that just takes saves. That's really all he's got going for him. Saladin's going in the bottom of usable. I think he's just worse than Joan and Caesar. Yeah, he's pretty good with three cav marches if you're running a support march like a Saladin Ethelflaed. He's fairly tanky, but his damage output is kind of lackluster nowadays. Flavius is not very good on the field. I'd put him like absolute trash if I'm being realistic. Jan Ziska, actually his AoE can be somewhat useful, but for the most part, he's a bad commander for the field. Sargon, I'm putting best of the best. I actually still think Sargon is better than Guan. Shoot me, I know. I think that Sargon is a very, very powerful commander, and he's kind of underestimated. Tarek is definitely in the pretty good tier. I think that overall, he does perform quite well, and he actually might be a substitute for Pakal. So for that reason, I'm probably going to drop Pakal down. I mean, he's very good as an anti-swarm, but if you're run v running with a Pakal, like, you can't really expect much to come from him. Boudicca Prime is definitely in the best of the best. Like, there's no doubt about that. Henry is definitely in the pretty good tier. Like, I couldn't say much more than that. He is a very good commander for the field, and I absolutely love my Henry. Moctezuma is trash for the field. Heroclius, um, I mean, his AoE is very low. That's why he's going to go in absolute trash as well. For Garrison is good, but this is not a Garrison list. Margaret and Barbara are in the usable tier just because they are very, very unique commanders in the way they're used. They have a lot of potential, but for the most part, most players shouldn't really get them just because of how hard they are to really unlock and use properly. Zul Lang, we already know he's going in the absolute best of the best tier because he is mental. He does a lot of damage, like a lot, a lot of damage. He's somewhat tanky with his health, and he just has all the stats that YSG would have, but better. Speaking of YSG, I'm putting him, I'm going to put him in the pretty good tier. My Nebu YSG has actually been oddly trading amazingly. And I think that YSG is kind of the carrier of that combo. So he's definitely still got usages. But obviously, you would get a Zulang much before you consider getting a YSG. Queen Ditto for the field is probably a bad commander. I mean, she, she'd trade one-on-one -on -one nowadays. But in a year or so, not going to see that happen. And for the most part, her field performance right now isn't that amazing by what I've seen. Monitory is in the usable tier if you have more than four arch marches. Otherwise, don't touch her. Then Sundok is absolute trash. Theodora is trash for the field. Thilmos is going in the bad tier for the field. He's usable with his relic, but I mean, other than that, he's expensive to get into. And he's not the best field commander. Tamaris is going on the top of the usable tier just because, I mean, having a Tamaris inside of your murderable with a lot of marches is very, 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 very good. Trajan's also going in the usable tier, probably just above Pakal. I really like Trajan as a support march, like a lot. And if you are running a Trajan, you're definitely going to be getting value from him as he gets more tanky the longer he's in fights. He also just buffs you drastically, only at the like cost of his own attack and all damage, which isn't too major for him since he is super tanky. William is certainly in the pretty good tier. I actually really appreciate what William does for a Cav Murderable, and most Cav players are running him within their top three marches. Zangyu is the same story. If you're running more than three Cav marches, you're going to run a Zangyu, so... I definitely would be using Zhang Yu, and I think he is still a very good commander. He actually, oddly, can kill a Boudicca with a Zulang, 
while Nevsky with a drone can't. I'm not too sure why. I think it's just the lower rage capacity that's required for XY, which still makes him a very, very formidable field opponent. In two years from now, or even a year from now, I think that his rank in the overall list will be bumped down to usable. But for now, he's really still performing quite well. Then the final commander on our list is Wizard Tian, and she's kind of trash if we're being realistic. Not usable on the field at all. Absolute garbage. Now here is the final tier list. I decided to bump Guan up because you know what? I think Guan CPO is still very formidable in the field. Though in a year or so, I think Guan is definitely going down to that pretty good tier or even possibly usable tier depending on the next infantry and cav commanders. Other than that, I think this is the current field performance. Boudicca's Yulang is actually definitely the best combination right now. I think it oddly beats Nevsky Jones just because Yulang's AoE is mental. Five targets, crazy debuff. Though I think Nevsky Jones still could almost be on par with that march. I think infantry right now are really lacking, and I think that they definitely need some new commanders. And Minamoto is just deadly, so he's still staying on that best of the best tier. I also kept pretty much everything else the same. I just rearranged the order. Pakal went up to the top of the usable tier because he is very, very good for not being swarmed. I moved Cyrus and Tamaris down a little bit, and I left Trajan kind of where he was. Other than that, nothing really changed there. The bad tier, I swapped around Ditto and Richard because Ditto is just better because power creep. But for the most part, Ditto is not that great on the field. Then I really kept everything else the same there. I possibly actually should knock down Ziska down, and then I would bring Khan up. That's probably what I would say is the final bad tier. Absolute trash, I didn't change too much, because they are absolute trash, and most players shouldn't be using them. So that's a pretty simple way to just say that these commanders never really use them. I didn't change them up too much either. So that was the final tier list. And if you disagree with anything I said today, you think a commander should be higher or lower on the tier list, let me know in the comments, since I have made adjustments based on what some of you guys have said. Also, I just want to say, please consider checking out yesterday's video if you enjoyed this one, where I go all over Queen Ditto as an in-depth guide for her, since a lot of players were curious about Queen Ditto as a garrison, and even possibly as a field commander. Now, I do thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.